Hey guys, uh, this is Rafe. Um, I'm in a band called Trick of Disaster, and today I'm going to try my best to teach you how to count in binary. Uh, probably a lot of you have heard of binary. Basically, the program that computers use to count is different from what people count because computers can only read ones and zeros. They can't read all the other numbers. So, yeah, it can't use our regular number system, so it makes up its own number system to count with only ones and zeros. So here's how it works. This is a zero in binary. Same as in real life. And this is a one. Same as in real life. But there's only two numbers in the world according to binary. So to count to the next number, what you gotta do is move it up to the next place. So, a 2 in binary is just a 10, 1, 0. And then a 3, you just add a 1 to the next place. So, I don't know if I'm explaining this well at all. But yeah, so basically there's the 1s, and uh, if you're going to the next number, it's going to be, um, if you want to, if you're out of 1s, you have to just go to the next place over. So, I guess I'll just write them all out. I don't know if you can see this, but I guess I'll just show you how to do it. This video is incredibly thought out, I have got to say. All right. And you just keep going on and on like that. As if you're counting in uh, regular numbers, but... Uh, I don't know if I'm explaining this. I can just do it. So that's how it works. You fill up all of you, you count. Shoot, it makes so much sense in my head. Um, yeah. So I guess if you don't understand this, I'm showing it now. I have to redo this video. If you don't understand this. You fill it up, there's a one, and then you want to add one here, but there's already a one there, so you have to carry the one over. So now you want to add another one here for the next number, one, one. You need to add another number, but there's no room, so you carry the one over, there's already one there. Carry the one over again. Then you start counting again for the next number, five. So there's a one, there's room, it's fine. One is full, you have to carry the one over. And now you can fill up this again now it's full so you have to carry the one over again so it's one two three four five six seven eight and there's a little trick in uh... in regular numbers if you're counting it goes this is the 1 column, this is the 10 column, this is the 1000 column, uh, this is the 100 column, this is the 1000s column, this is the 10,000s column. So if you're doing a number uh, 6000, so 63,274, that's how you would do it. But if you're counting in binary it's different you have the ones column the twos column the fours column the eights column the sixteens column 
the 32 column. So let's say the number is, I'm really going to have to redo this. Let's say the number is 83. Uh, too high. Let's say the number is 56. So what you do is, the number is 56. So 56 is bigger than 32. You put a 1 in the 32 column. So you, then you subtract 32. And you're down to 24. 24 is bigger than 16. So you put a 1 in the 16 column. You subtract it, uh, 8, yeah, 8, okay, 8 is 8, so you put 1 there, and then you subtract 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, because you're just left with a 0 here, because you're subtracting 8, and, uh, so yeah, that's 56, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, equals 56 because 32 plus 16 plus 8 equals 56 um, what else was I going to say one other thing or maybe that's it one other thing about canning and binary oh yeah so if you want to figure out what numbers are going to go up here 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. What it is, is it's the power of 2. So this is, if you're trying to find the columns, it goes 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 4. So that's 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. And that's how you get the columns. But if you're trying to do it in base 2, which is binary is base 2, there's only two numbers, 1 and 0. So 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5. So it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And on and on and on like that. Anyways. Uh, I don't know if this made any sense at all. I, might ha I think I'm going to upload this video and then re-upload another video when I see if anyone understood this. But hopefully this helped. If you want to count in binary, that's how computers function. That's how a computer sees a number. If a computer is reading 56, it doesn't see 56. It sees 111000. Yep, yeah, hope this is helpful. Check out my band, myspace.com slash Peace.